taking the long tube headers to get installed on the C6 Grand Sport. Just a little side note, look how dusty this thing got. This was just a day, I don't, I don't even know what happened. Strange. All right guys, just like that, we're all packed up and ready to go. Once again, the Corvette is showing off just how utilitarian it is. I don't know why it's so dusty. It's a problem with being in a new development area. Jeez. Guys, these are my first driving impressions with the long tubes here. So obviously we have the check engine light on because we deleted the cats. <laughs> Sounds properly good now. Properly, properly good. I cannot wait till we have an actual tune on the car now too, to where it's really running right. Cause you can, you can hear all the crackles, the pops. Um, on some of the downshifts, it's a little unresponsive. The car's still learning um, some of the fuel trims because you know you change some things. Obviously, we're gonna get tuned, so that's not gonna matter. Um, but it's definitely running a little rich. You can smell it. There's still some, uh, still some grease coming off the headers too. You know, all that kind of good stuff. So. <laughs> oh, that sounds so good. Whoa. We definitely got the pop pop pops too. Since we don't have like IAT temp readings, we don't know how much the uh, the headers are affecting the engine bay and how hot it is getting in the engine bay. Oil temps and coolant temps look pretty normal for what would uh be typical operating so that's good stuff I gotta say though when we're cruising around taking it easy it still runs pretty decent for uh, being untuned and everything so let's give you guys kind of an example of a downshift here see it's a little lazy on a downshift you know it's not super responsive and that's what the tune's gonna be for today to peg out that responsiveness that we really need for the car you know we got our first little tunnel blast here people 